Welcome to SVG TV News for Friday, September 18th, 2015. I'm Lafren Fraser with the details. Minister of Youth Frederick Stevenson says he is deeply distressed by the recent pornographic act carried out by a group of school children here that has been circulating on social media. Minister Stevenson told SVG TV News that the nation is shocked and disgraced. He says the act pushes back the hard working the hard work, sorry, being carried out by his ministry, such as the Juvenile Justice Reform, Status of the Children's Act, and the United Nations move to end child sex violence. Minister Stevenson says there are, all, there are laws sorry, to protect juveniles against sex crimes, and charges could be brought against players in this scenario. What I saw there, I was, I was mostly shocked um, and alarmed. Up to this day, it, 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 I'm still, I'm still aching. I'm still hurting of the acts that I've seen in that in that video clip. Young school girls and apparently school boys as well being involved in these sexual activities. And uh, I, I see from the the video clip that there was one who was directing and. Uh, there was one who was doing the filming of the act. It is, it is a disgrace. It has shocked the entire nation. The youth minister says while the pornographic filming of students must not be condoned, persons must also sympathize to the issue, which is sensitive, and not repost the video. That, that really saddens me is that many adults who have children have been posting, forwarding it to their friends and, and, and so on, putting it on their, on their pages, and making all sorts of comments in relation to, to this matter. Today is, is the, the child of, of one family, tomorrow could be your child. And I'm sure that you wouldn't like to see a video of your, your daughter in that, in that position. We have so far as a ministry spoken to the, the, the relatives of the, of the young lady who was involved, the young girl who was involved. She's a Form 4 student at one of our secondary schools. The Ministry of Education is also involved. Um, the, there's counseling offered to her. President of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Union, the SVGTU, Oswald Robinson, is describing the recent Court of Appeal ruling in the case of the former union president, Otto Sam, as a victory for all teachers. Robinson told SVGTV News that this shows that the collective agreement has teeth and is not just a word-of-mouth agreement. He adds that Sam was deliberately made to be frustrated from being transferred from the educational system to the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, where he had no training. He says the decision by the court to throw out the government's appeal shows that justice can be done once pursued. This is victory for the teachers' union because we would have stood with our brother, Brother Otto Sam, a true brother in the sense, given the fact that he was a former president of the teachers' union, and the last collective agreement was signed by him with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And being his, one of his successors, it is imperative that you continue to let the life of the collective agreement be realized. So that is fundamental. It means that the, the collective agreement has that legal teeth. It is not just a gentleman's agreement as some people would want to see. And we are very happy that the, the Court of Appeal would have rule in our favor. Robinson says while Sam was a civil servant, he has the right to freely express himself once there is no defamation. Because as you know, Brother Otto Sam, he was transferred to Nemo. And then with half pay, the court would have already ruled that his transfer was irrational and illegal. 
You can't just transfer somebody because they express their opinion. You know? Under the Constitution, you have fundamental rights and freedom, and freedom of expression is one of them. The only limitation is if you slander, if you defame, or infringe on the rights of somebody else. So for the brother just expressing himself about a particular issue, then you transfer him. And you put him to work somewhere where he has little or no training about. Okay? And we know that he had faith in Almighty God. And we stood by his side as a union because one of our objectives as a union is to offer legal representation to our members. And so we did exactly that. Assistant Director of Public Prosecutions Colin John is encouraging his colleagues in the law fraternity here to always strive to consolidate their strengths and to continuously work on their weaknesses. John was speaking at a special sitting of the High Court to mark the opening of a new law year. According to John, for there to be an effective justice system in SVG, there has to be more unison within the law community. In referring to the success of the DPP for the 2013 to 2014 law year, he says that there have been a they have been able to reduce the list of criminal matters down for trial with special emphasis on older matters and were able to work with the government to improve the country's criminal justice system. Always be mindful of the fact that we are only as good as our last performance. At this juncture I want to thank the local judges for facilitating the training and for conducting training in such an efficient and effective manner. The Office of the DPP has gained quite a lot from your guidance uh, during this training. I also, we also propose and advise the government as to matters relating to the criminal justice system and new legislations that we thought could enhance criminal justice in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Some of these advice were accepted and some new legislations were put in place. Some are yet to be brought to Parliament. And during yesterday's proceedings at the special sitting of the High Court, the members of the law fraternity took the time out to remember their colleague, the late Nicole Sylvester. Sylvester had an illustrious career serving at the bar. She was the past president of the OECS Bar Association and the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Bar Association. She was also called to the bar in St. Vincent and the Grenadines Eastern Caribbean State Supreme Court in 1991 and was the managing senior partner of the Caribbean International Law Firm. Sylvester passed away early earlier this year. President of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Bar Association, Rene Batiste, described Sylvester as a very dedicated lawyer who made a significant contribution to the betterment of SVG. At the time of the funeral services and the special sitting of this court to pay tribute to Miss Nicole Sylvester, as I had some family engagements, I had recently lost my mother and the family decided to go out of state for a while. And uh, just permit me to say, my lad, on my own behalf, deepest sympathy to her family and all those of her chambers and colleagues who worked closely with her at the recently concluded 12th OECS Regional Law Conference. Tributes were paid to her by the Honorable Chief Justice, by Dr. Francis Alexis, and by Council Trotman and the conference magazine for this particular regional conference, there were four tributes paid to her in print, so that is a, an item that will be for the library purposes. The Central Water and Sewage Authority Solid Waste Management Department will be embarking on its ninth free white goods collection next week. Superintendent of the department, Greg Francois, says white goods can be considered as any household appliances such as electronics and bedding. He notes that the removal of white goods from homes, on the streets and elsewhere decreases the breeding space for mosquitoes and other insects, noting that the collection of these items is a benefit to the nation. Francois is appealing to 
persons who want to discard of these white goods to ensure that when the collection period begins from September 21st to 26th, they are being placed close to the road and in a position where traffic would not be disrupted. What will be calling on the public to do is to make use of the service and making use of the service means that the garbage has to be collected in an orderly manner. That is to say that the white goods for your particular area should be put out on the same day that you are accustomed to putting out your regular household garbage. And garbage collection begins from six in the morning each day so your garbage should be out at that time and um, we should refrain from bringing out white goods on any day except the day in which it is scheduled to be collected which is your regular garbage collection day Collection Supervisor with the CWSA Solid Management Unit, Vincent Reed, is advising persons to adhere to the guidelines for the collection of these white goods. Now, for persons who may identify that they have a problem with getting their waste out, uh, for example, you may be a single parent or a senior citizen, you have enough time from now to make arrangements to have your white goods come out to the front of your yard, closest to the road as you possibly can. Now, you have that time now to do so. So make every arrangement you can to get your white goods to come out so that it can be collected on your day of collection. Chairman of the Carnival Development Corporation, Dennis Ambrose, says the passage of Vinci Mass 2015 marked major milestones for a number of players of the festival. Among them were the Miss Caravel pageant, which celebrated its 30th anniversary, the Dragon's Mass Band celebrated 50 years of conception, and a live broadcast in eight countries in the region for a number of major shows. All in all, Ambrose says that the entire 2015 season was a booming success and thanked patrons as well as the participants for their role. The coffee line, Maxwell Nescafe, Folgers, and the shop, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. But then there is the Vinci Mars brand. Very often, we do not emphasize enough of where the Vinci Mars brand has come from and where it is today. When we say Vinci Mass now, it is instantly recognized regionally. And I think we will all agree that it is a brand that we can hold up and it best depicts what happens in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for our Carnival Festival. I want us all this evening to commit to be promoters of the Vinci Mass brand so that our festival, carnival, can be made even bigger. It can grow from strength to strength and continue to develop as our premier cultural festival. Founder of the Access to a College Education Program, Carlos James, is encouraging students not to limit themselves. James, who donated a $10,000 bursary to some 20 students from the North Leeward area recently through the nonprofit organization Generation Next, says he is not doing this to score political points as the ruling Unity Labour Party or UOP candidate for the North Leeward seat in the upcoming general elections. He says he has been doing this since 2000 14 and that this is his personal way of giving back to others since he was afforded many opportunities as well as a youngster and made the most of them. It is not just to create jobs but also to give you a level of education on the opportunities whereby you can also improve yourselves and some of you may not necessarily come back and work within the government system but a lot of you can go on to be entrepreneurs or professionals or consultants and I want to see each and every one of you, and I'm saying this with, with the utmost sincerest and a deep passion in my heart, that I want to see each and every one of you excel. Do not limit yourself. Take advantage of the opportunities that are afforded and available to you. Because there are many out there who wish that they're in your position. And there are many out there who wish that they had a candidate such as Carlos James, who's going up for the candidacy of, 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 of 
for the Unity Labour Party in North Leeward. Many students out there wish that they had the opportunities that you have. And I want you to, to encourage, and I want to encourage you especially to stay focused, stay in school, and to take advantage of the opportunities that are there for you.